All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you were safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on our nail straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoons, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. His word, his only begotten son, died for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. He protects his people. He keeps his promises. So always worship him, thank him, keep him first, and always sing a song to him. Amen. Most definitely welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for each other, support one another, comfort each other. All those amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to all the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the gathering, the services, and the fellowship. Much love to the previous martyrs, current martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, courageous, bold, isolated believers out there who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many tribulations for his name's sake. Amen. Stay strong, encouraged, and upright with it. All right. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts, all the brand new creatures in Christ. Much love to all the brand new people out there, any brand new believers, anyone who just got baptized, God bless you. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just converted and became a firm, a firm believer, God bless all of you. Love all your testimonies and your stories, most definitely. Greetings, family, shalom, everybody. Welcome, everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to him, dance, play an instrument, do what you got to do. Always express yourself to the most high. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night and a twinkling of an eye with a shout with those angels. He is coming back for war. He is coming back for his people. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. So stay alarmed, watchful, sober, vigilant. So all those things, people, always stay prayed up and stay in your purpose and your calling, most definitely. Let us be washed up by the water through the word, the washing of the water by the word, and let us keep our lamps and our oils. Amen. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, visions, encounters, and various ways of communication. Let us know the Lord better. Let us get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our call, our purpose, our situations, our gifts, our talents, handle that, people, all right? Keep the word of God. Keep the faith. Keep the law, statute, your commandments. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep everything, y'all. Be firm with it, amen? Most definitely, y'all. So hope that you all taking it one day at a time and being strong and firm day by day, okay? So in today's message, we will go through today's Bible reading. We will go through the recommended reading scriptures. We will go through the commentary as it is. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. 
Today's Bible reading, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verses 1 through 14. Recommended reading, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 3 through 6. The book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verses 11 through 16. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 24, verses 5 through 7. And also the book of Philippians, Philippians, chapter 1, verses 21 through 26. The title of this commentary is, Where is Home? The prophet Jeremiah knew about feelings of home. He wrote to the elders exiled in Babylon to remind them, although they found themselves in a strange land, they were still God's people and God still had plans for them until the appropriate time. However, God spoke through Jeremiah and reminded the elders to make a home where they were, build houses and settle down, plant gardens and eat what they produce, marry and have sons and daughters. Verses five through six. He even instructed them to pray for the cities and lands in which they found themselves for if, for if the cities prospered, so would they. This directive might seem odd to the people in exile. Shouldn't they start a resistance movement? Movement, Some sort of an underground covert, covert military unit designed to get them out of that situation as soon as possible? In a certain sense, we're in the same situation as those exiles in Babylon. Those of us who know and follow God realize that this world is not our final destination. There is a life after this one. A life more real and closer at hand than most people could ever begin to comprehend. Yet, instead of asking us to rush through life to get to the end, the Bible encourages us to live here, in exile, to the fullest, for the glory of God, who put us here. As much as we might excitedly anticipate being in God's presence someday, we have an opportunity, or more precisely an obligation, to live fully in the here and now. If you feel like an exile living in a place you really don't want to be, take a look at a bigger perspective. God is present with you now, where you are, and he has a plan for you to fulfill until you reach your final heavenly home. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Why do you think God places us on earth to await our home in heaven? When you envision the bigger perspective for your life, what plans do you think God has in store for you? What impact does setting your heart and hope on heaven have on the way you live today? In what way does your life show that your hope is in heaven? Amen. People, we are scattered. We are exiled. We are all four corners of the earth, but we are living life to the fullest, even in perilous times, even in the last days, even in the days of Noah. We are still doing what the most high cost to do. Amen. We still have the joy of the Lord. We are still alive. We have a merry heart. We have continual feasts. We're able to still get things done for the kingdom. Amen. So that is the commentary. All right. Make the most out of your life, people. Me, you, all of us. Let's make adventures, travels. Let's get out of comfort zone. Let's live life to the fullest. Amen. Let's max out. All right. So that's the commentary. What I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high God forever. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Most definitely, he is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Praise the almighty, true, living God. Hallelujah. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator of the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, Eternal Life, Everlasting Father, Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born of all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Hair of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One, the Hope, the Hope of Glory, the Horn of Salvation, the I Am, the I Am that I Am, the I Am, who I Am, the Great I Am. The image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna.